Uh, it's so many there for this people on June partner. Hey D Holdings Inc. revenue rose a stronger than expected 66% after the company behind hit shopping at Timu spend right now from the car bait. It shares climb more than 13% in pre-market trading in New York. The e-commerce platform reported revenue of 52.3 billion yuan, 7.2 billion dollars in the June quarter, beating the Massapino average estimate of 43.3 billion yuan. Net income increased 47% to 13.1 billion yuan. Uh, PDD's growth surpassed many of its major Chinese peers uh, and underscore how the company that once trailed far behind Alibaba Group Holding Limited and JD.com Inc. has in recent years used promotions and inroads into lower tier cities to grab market share uh, from more established rivals. It created Timu, featured with much fanfare uh, during this year's Super Bowl, to temperature and replicate that success brought. Mixed financial results from the country's online commerce and media leaders had cast doubt over a recovery for the world's biggest internet arena. This month, Alibaba and JD.com both reported faster than anticipated growth for the second quarter, while social media giant Tencent Holdings Limited recorded sales and net income that missed analysts' estimates. In PDD's case, increasingly fierce competition in China and aggressive strides overseas may pressure profitability. Even JD.com rolled out a $1.4 billion discount spree in March uh, to capture new users, uh, igniting a price war. Alibaba also launched a value for money battle to more buyers and merchants. Investors worry that PED's aggressive spending, you now a sector wide phenomenon, will further hurt bottom line growth. As the price war heats up and Chinese consumption weakens, these are investors may find it increasingly hard to justify PDD's valuation. The stock is trading at more than 19 times in forward earnings, compared with nearly 11 times for Alibaba and over 12 for JD.com, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Result amid intensifying rivalry at home, PDD is turning outward for growth, following the playbook employed by ByteDance Limited's TikTok and fast fashion phenom Sheen. In September, PDD debuted its Temu bargains platform in the U.S. and quickly rolled it out to other places like Canada and Europe. Morgan Stanley says PDD is the only e-commerce play that can deliver alpha in China as the company will outgrow peers because the monthly use of its app is increasing while Tino is expanding to more countries. Tino was ranked the top shopping app by downloads in the U.S., Australia, and Germany over the past three months, according to market research firm Sensor Tower. Uh, but so far, the fledgling platform has been a drag on margins. PDD acknowledged in its annual report last year that Timu requires substantial resources to grow. While traffic on the app has risen, it probably accounted for less than 1% of PDD's sales in the second quarter, Bloomberg intelligence analysts estimated. Um, after uh, PDD's non-GAAP operating margin in the second quarter likely narrowed from 34% a year ago as cost increases exceeded revenue growth. Marketing expenses surged 45% in 1Q amid increased competition in China's e-commerce market and the increase probably continued in 2Q countering profit gains from economies of scale gained with the expansion and operations. PDD might also having incurred higher personnel costs in 2Q to support the enlarged domestic and overseas operations, which would have cramped profitability. Uh, PDD likely raised investment in Temu, uh, its overseas e-commerce platform, uh, as it enters new markets in Europe and Asia, including Germany, France, uh, Japan, and South Korea. Uh, yet, Camo probably contributed less than 1% uh, uh, of the sales in QQ. Uh, we estimate uh, Catherine Wim and Tiffany Tam uh, analysts. Uh, Tamu is now locked in a lawsuit with Sheen, alleging the rival violated antitrust laws by using threats and intimidation to block clothing manufacturers from working with the fast rising upstart. 
Sheehan has also sued Temu in the U.S. alleging trademark and copyright infringement as well as false and deceptive business practices. Uh, PDD has also drawn scrutiny over potential data security risks after Google's Android App Store uh, suspended downloads of its uh, Chinese shopping app Kindawudu while it investigates alleged malware uh, unsanctioned versions. Um, Google didn't mention Temu, uh, which remains available to download.